members of the Texas A&M Commerce Lions Women's Basketball Program. In the center of our podium is head coach Jason Burton. On the far side, the coach's right is Princess Davis. Princess is a 5'7 freshman from Shreveport, Louisiana. On the near side of the podium is Abigail Pepe Talley. Abigail is a 6'2 senior from San Diego, California. Coach, let's open the uh, press conference just with your initial thoughts on uh, what was a very solid victory. It was a it was a greatly played team effort, and uh, you know it, to respond today like we did versus I mean if you look at our last seven games we lost five of our last seven and we got we got to hand it to us at Tarleton State and so uh, we put together a game plan that it's not a normal game plan we, we triangled into boxing one a little bit and junked it up and and but our girls bought in they kept believing. And it's something that they've done all year. They've, they've overcome adversity all year from uh, a car accident in the summer where we lost our two captains to battling throughout this year and playing. And they played their tails off today, and I couldn't be more proud of this group of young ladies. Uh, let's start with uh, Abigail. Ten points, nine rebounds, one assist. Uh, as a senior, obviously, you didn't want today to be your last game. No, sir. Um, uh, I have... I had every intention of coming back tomorrow and playing the Western. Every intention. I didn't even pack up my the stuff in the hotel room. I told my my roommate or my teammate, leave your stuff. We're coming back. And um, when we play uh, team ball like what we did out there, um, see on other teams they have go-to players. On our team we don't have go-to players like that. Um, our coach emphasized um, onto us about the best player on the floor is the person that that makes your other teammates better, and that's what we have, and that's what that's what got us this win is team basketball. Princess, your line scored 23 points, four rebounds, nine assists, three steals. That's a pretty complete game. Give us your thoughts. Um, it was my team. They they believed in me. Coach believed in me. Coach always told me. You will score. You can score the ball, and um, I just I think it was our defense mostly. Our defense is what made me score that much. Defense is what made all of us play that good. So when we when we play good defense, good team defense, offense gonna come. Coach Burton, Princess refers to the defense. You scored 80 points, but you had 51 rebounds, and you held Cameron to just 32 percent from the field. That was a big focus. Um, we. We knew we got to score the ball today, and we knew Jasmine Robson was going to score. She's she's a phenomenal scorer, phenomenal player. So we, you got to pick and choose who's going to score. You know she's going to score. We want to make sure Leal and, and Hurl don't get off from three. I mean they, they do such a good job of stretching the floor out, and then their their other guards attack. And, and we we decided to kind of pack the paint a little bit and, and force Robinson to shoot some jump shots. We knew she was going to make some. She she made a lot more than we wanted her to. But they bought into the defense, and and to have a freshman score 23 points, and then have a career high in assists, nine assists versus a very good team. I mean, uh, she didn't get those assists if other people aren't playing and making baskets. And, and they played confident tonight. Um, and, and quick turnaround, though. We got we to gotta, gotta go home, hydrate, and play a very good Midwestern team. Let's talk about what you just alluded to, the fact that you play back-to-back -back and the potential of playing three games in three days. Uh, it's tough, but the thing is, I mean, we, we've – Think we're ready for it, and, and what what Abby alluded to is that it's a, it's team basketball, and we've got we've got a, a team of 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 ladies that everybody's ready to play, and uh, you know we're, we're one short with Ashley Johnson having a concussion, and so that's part of the reason why we we played the defense that, that we played today. But we'll come up with a game plan as a staff to come back and, and play a very good Midwestern team, and these girls are ready. She's got to go and rest. She played 40 minutes today, and she's probably going to play 40 more minutes tomorrow. So uh, you know <clears throat> that's the main thing: go home and get back off our feet. And get ready to play another game tomorrow. Questions for the Lions? Can you can you elaborate on uh, Arteja Gay's 18 points? Uh, out play, beat him in the paint, 30, 24. Can you elaborate on her performance? She's now here with us, but another freshman. Yeah, I mean, our two freshmen are our, our two leading scorers tonight, and that's the thing about this team is that the, the the games that we're best, we have multiple people scoring a lot of points. That's when we're playing our best basketball, and. Didn't play as many people as me missed today. We kind of we kind of shortened the rotation, and two freshmen stepped up. They're two special players, and um, you know with Tay, we're confident in her mid-range game and her ability to paint. The thing that we've stressed all year with our size um, versus other teams is to, to to dominate the paint. You know, we we <clears throat> pride ourselves on having more points in the paint than other teams. We pride ourselves on on really defending and, and getting rebounds and, and, and limiting them to one shot. We we wanted we wanted to lead the league in rebounding this year, and did for a big part of the big part of the year, and so. 
Um, we had to use our size, and, and Tay being Tay was so flexible. She was she was good because she played the three and the four for us today, and I think she can create some mismatch problems at the three. Just being being uh, a big three that can get have a smaller guard guarding them. And she did a good job in the painting, and she's got to continue to do that. Don't tell them our secret, Coach. Uh, you guys did a really good job on Leal, who's you know a prolific three-point shooter. Uh, you've got another prolific three-point shooter coming up in the next game uh, with Midwestern with Hampton. I, what went so well today? What, what was the game plan coming in? The game plan was not let her shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't we didn't want her to shoot. I mean, point blank, you can. We didn't want her or her to get shots off. If that was gonna beat us, we was gonna make the other beat us, not the shooters. And that, that was the, that was kind of been our thing all year, but especially today we want we wanted to make them uncomfortable. We wanted we wanted people that don't necessarily shoot jump shots to shoot jump shots, and we didn't want their three point shooters to get off. I mean, we we played Cameron in a tight game last game at, at Cameron, and Leal steps up and hits. I mean, two threes late in the game, and we're talking about from deep, five feet behind the line. And so we know how good of a shooter she is, and so we wanted to kind of make it a three on three game, and and make the other players shoot jump shots and. and Fortunately for us, it worked today. Any more questions for the Lions? Congratulations on a strong win and best of luck Thank tomorrow. You. Thank, Thank you. you.